something I've wanted to do all my life, ever since I got into fishing. Alaska is kind of like the pinnacle of all fishing, and uh, never made it up here until this year. If there's anything you've ever wanted to do, like a trip, you know, a place, a thing that you've always thought about doing, go and do it. Don't wait. I can't believe I waited until I was almost 40 to come up here. Why wait? Don't wait until you're retired or think you have enough money saved. Go and do that thing. Figure out a way to go make that happen. And then go on to the next thing. That's what life's about. Checking those boxes, man. Doing those things you've always wanted to do. This is the 14th hotel I've called. I'm on hold. Yeah, hi, I was wondering if you guys had any rooms available for tonight. Dang it. Here's the deal. We flew from Salt Lake to Seattle, Seattle to Anchorage. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night here in Anchorage. Our plane doesn't leave until tomorrow morning at 10.30. And so my plan was like, we'll get to Anchorage, whatever time, get a hotel close by, stay the night, get good sleep, come here and get on our next two flights in the morning to go where we're going and we show up in Anchorage and everything is booked out. 10, 15 calls to hotels. I've been on Airbnb, VRBO. We have nothing. I've seen people do it. Have you guys ever slept in an airport? Another first. Another first. First, day, first time in Alaska, first time sleeping in an airport maybe. No, things are, things are looking up. <laughs> guys, we just had the wild, most wild experience ever. Like I was saying earlier, I was just like, I've never had problems not being able to find a hotel room in a large city like Anchorage, but we just did. We literally called every single hotel in Anchorage and every hotel within the, the next hour drive. Yeah. Nothing available. Lane finally found a hostel and they had two beds and then he explained to us what a hostel was. Airbnb, same thing, VRBO, same thing. There was one house on Airbnb. And I just texted the lady. I said, hey, we just landed, told her our, pro our problem and sent her a message through the app. And for whatever reason, it showed up as- um, Not available. Not available for those dates. So I was like, we're screwed. Well, then I get a text from this lady named Jennifer, bless her soul. And she said, oh yeah, the house is available and I'll come pick you up at the airport. <laughs> I go, is this real? So I call this lady and she goes, oh yeah, I'm just getting, I'll just clean, I'm just finished up and cleaning up the rooms. Um, I'll come pick you guys up. I said, we're eating dinner. She goes, great, give me 15 minutes. When you guys are done, I'll come get you. So we're gonna go meet Jennifer. She is a angel, bless her soul. And it looks light outside, but it's actually it's like 11 p.m. 11 o'clock and it's still light outside. And we're in Alaska, guys. <laughs> Closer, boys. Guys, we just landed in Bethel, Alaska. I mean, we were in Anchorage, which is Alaska, but this now really feels like we're in the heart of Alaska. Going even deeper, we have more, one more plane ride and then we will take a boat uh, about an hour up the river and then we'll be at base camp. Things are getting exciting. Should be able to go sideways. Does that be up this way or can we go? And since it's just you guys left too, if we need to use some of the seats, we'll make that happen. Yeah. We just got to this tiny airport in Bethel. We're trying to get on one more plane. I believe it's the Cessna Airbus 208. We walk in and they're like, anybody going to Dunkin' and Sons, get in your waders and boots and be ready to hit the river. So we gotta get in our waders before we get on the airplane. And I'm just wearing 
boxer briefs underneath this, so hopefully no one gets offended. <laughs> all sorts of things in here. And that guy shows up to a fishing camp with brand new boots. Casey, all right, hi Casey. Gage. Yep. Logan. Logan, okay. Last flight, just got our names called. We're gonna walk out this door, get on a plane. On the other side. We have made it, ladies and gentlemen, and there's Ruthie! Ruthie! We're at the lower camp of Duncan and Sons. And the mosquitoes are thick. <laughs> Dang, that was a cool river ride. It was me and uh, Lane here. We haven't properly introduced Lane to the video, but Lane, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, to everybody. Folks at home? Lane McKellar, uh, up here hanging out with Hush. What do you, river what do you, rat. What do, you do? Uh, I fish. And uh, part owner of River Rat, riverratusa.com. And uh, brought a raft up. We're gonna get it out on the Kennetuck River up here and see if we can catch some rainbows and big king salmon. That's the goal, that's the goal, you guys. Yeah, those river rafts are really sweet. If you haven't seen them or heard of them yet, check them out. There's a link in the description, but we have just landed at the lower camp. We have six days of this? Seven, six? Seven days of heaven. Seven days of heaven. We are in Alaska. We're one of the first boats. Casey and Gage must still be behind us on the river, but looks like we got two camp dogs, and uh, we're gonna go check it out. We have made it. We are here. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Gage. We're here in. Gosh dang it. Um. Gosh dang it. Hey guys, we're here in camp. We're gonna give you a tour. So, this is our tent where we cook and eat dinner and meet up at night and tire flies. Some of the guys look like they're meeting up right now. Yeah. This is the table that we sit at and eat. And this is the table that we tie all our flies. Camp tour. Camp tour. Boom. Alright, these are some of the guides. Mm, that guy. Hey, that guy for Duncan and Sons. <laughs> they don't know it yet, but they hired me this year. Don't it's go with leaving. that guy. <laughs> not leaving. <laughs> and this is the kitchen. Making tang. This is the sink where they do the dishes at. All the guides, waiters, and stuff go here. Look at that. That's a Hoyt bow. That is a Hoyt bow. <laughs> this is where they usually put the drinks, so you can just walk up there, get the drink. This is the tent that we sit at when. It's like pretty warm outside, but don't want to sit inside. But we also don't want to get mosquitoes on us. So that's the tent we sit in. This is the hangout tent. Dude. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Caribou head. Caribou head. Caribou head. These are most of the tents. This is Logan's tent. This is where you sleep in. A little messy. A little messy. Hard to do. This is mine. Really messy too. So they're these nice weatherproof, mosquito-proof tents accompanied with a furnace. Don't need that this time of year. Two cots with thermarest bring your own sleeping bag and this is where you sleep at. Yep, that's our little shelf just for all our stuff we need. Nice. Sweet. This is everybody else's tent. So you've got tents lined out, rods and gear. Yep. 
These are the camp rods just in case like one of your breaks or anything. You can stow your rods here or there are extras. Yeah. And you come over here to your bathroom. We have actual bathrooms out here. And another caribou head. Another caribou head. Yeah, they actually have actual bathrooms out here. Bathrooms with flushing toilets. Sweet. Nice. Not supposed to put baby wipes in there. So don't, don't put baby wipes in there. Yeah. This is the thing that all flushes too and it burns it. The incinerator. Yeah, that's kind of gross. The camp is equipped with solar panels. So we have power. The sun only goes down for about an hour and a half. Out of every day, so they get lots of solar. It's a great tree. This is the bay where the guides park all their boats. So in the mornings, when we have our guides, we go meet with our guides, get in our boats, and buzz out either downriver or take the jet boat and go upriver. And there's good fishing right from camp, right off the bank. There's a deep channel. Lane caught a fish already. This is a shower tent, right? Yep, I think there's somebody in there, but that is a shower, fully functioning hot water shower. And that's the tour. Let's go fishing. What we got there? Guys, we got this brand new Sage X 9 foot 8 weight. And we're going to go put her to the test. What just happened? Well, we were just sitting around. So, like, plan really was just show up to camp. Uh, dinner's at 7. Everyone's just kind of hanging out. And we're going to have an orientation. Um, and Logan wanted to get some shots. So, Lane grabbed his stuff, went out, started fishing. And Logan was flying the drone. Lane caught a fish, and then everyone got real excited and went and grabbed the rods. <laughs> I think we're gonna go try to catch a sockeye. Uh, things are happening. We're just, uh, this is our first dinner up here with Duncan and Sons, and uh, display your plate of food. I mean, it's like, it's a five course meal in one, really. It was pretty amazing. And this is after walked outside, decided to cast a couple for picture's sake. Yeah. Ended up catching a fantastic rainbow and a grayling. <laughs> Biggest grayling they've seen this season. Lane has uh, fish on his hands already. We're in, good, we're in a good spot. Not bad. You have food. Our goal here today is to try to catch some salmon. Sockeye move a lot. They'll travel upwards of 50 miles a day in 24 hours, and they call them marchers. So we're in super shallow water. They prefer to like travel up through the shallow stuff in the river. So they're not in the deep pools or anything, but they're traveling up the shallow stuff. And uh, we're trying to get in front of them and trying to catch a sockeye salmon. But we have kings, we have chums, and we have sockeye at this point. And so we're gonna try to target some salmon today and uh, see how we can do. Casey's on a salmon. Don't horse him. Dang. Got a salmon on the end of the line. You think it's a chunk? No. Sockeye. This will be a miracle if I get this fish in. Hey, quiet. Look at that rod. <laughs> Cork. Hold her in half. No. Ah. How'd we do? <laughs> Grabbed the line and broke me off. Dang it! Dude. dude. No way! King in the mouth, dude. <laughs> I just got a king salmon. Yes. Grab that thing. He's not having it.
Okay, we're gonna let this guy go. Work, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Alaska trip made. Just caught a giant king. What do you think he weighs? 12 pounds? 12, 13, 14. <laughs> that was fun, man. Let's do it again. Lane got him on. Looks like a uh, salmon. That was bad to the bone. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. Throwing casts out here, super shallow water, you can see the fish cruising around, and uh, we've just been working them in nice, easy strip. Pink fly, no idea what that's called, but uh, but it's the ticket. The rainy's the rainy special. What's that? Oh, it depends, man. Gager! Woohoo! <laughs> that fish in the background? <laughs> Chum salmon, man. What a tanker. They fight so well. Go be free, little guy. It's crawling. Give me an update on your last I'm kind of speechless right now. The salmon fight, like especially the chums, are extraordinary. So we're just kind of doing this today, man. I'm having a riot. We're in Alaska. <laughs> I keep saying that to everyone. Hey, we're in Alaska. Catching salmon on a fly rod. Pretty hard to beat. What are you doing, man? <laughs> what do you got on? A giant. A giant? Kind of like a boulder, but it has fins and it can swim. It's like a boulder that shakes its head a lot. It's going to take you to the ocean if you're not careful. Yeah. That is it. A humpy! Humpy! Nice, buddy. Dude, great humpy. Pull the fly up and let him go. Nice, dude. Got some salmon on the fly rod. Boom. <laughs>
you swimming up to your mouth. All right, Ginger, you're up, man. Hold them up for the camera. That was a slurp. I did good. I held off from ripping it out of his mouth. I, I wanted to. I wanted to grab you by the arm. Went for it to disappear. Dude, that's a stud too. Yeah. Hold it, hold him right there. Woo! Sweet. 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 
Was that was that a good eat? Real neat spot on the river. We targeted trout again today. I've been throwing a mouse all day long. And I think I've only caught maybe five or six fish, but had a lot of fish chase the mouse, which is the funnest part of it. So um, tomorrow will be a new day. We'll be doing something, maybe the same thing, maybe something a little different. We'll have to decide. I think tonight's steak night though, is what I've been hearing. And that's never a bad thing. Steaks in Alaska. want to like go across and like try and get it into that still water and then bring it across that works from over there yeah <laughs> it'll be a 24 inches out of the end of the rod he's gonna be doing like a swing swing like a swing drop wiggle 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 stick and then when you wiggle, 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 stop and it's gonna be wiggle 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 <laughs> stick and then it will be Game on. So there's a, uh, there's not, a good yeah. trout behind these branches in that pool. We, right back in there, right? Yeah. It'll be good luck and land them. Kind of deal. That's kind of like there's to wood go hike about down, cross six the river, get over there. Direction. And he's just going to have to flick it right there you behind those branches in that pool. Oh, yeah. Against the bank. So it's let's go. Yay, long. Good. Whenever you're ready, right out in front of them, and on the bank to the right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There he is! Oh, baby, let's go! Let's go, baby! <laughs> yes, sir! Yeah, yeah. My man. Oh, baby! Let's go, my uh, man! That was sick, dude. Nice call. Dude, great it. spot. He inhaled that, Turn that again towards me. Side. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Beauty. Hunting trout, dude. <laughs> trout <laughs> hunting. That was, that so, was so dope, my man. That was <laughs> sweet. Oh, there he goes. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> that that was kid. That was this is time. his home right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, man, you hook them, you're going to have to horse them good. Don't let them get down there, you know. <laughs> the odds of landing those fish usually is like, so I tough. Mean, so tough. And he and did. Like, he grabbed it and he just went, whoop. Yep. <laughs> they know their escape route, you know. So he's, he was just going to go right in that freaking hole right there. Yeah. Yeah, we got it all. Heck yeah, boys. Okay. That was good stuff. I'm good for the rest of the trip. <laughs> doing today we're going king fishing well we're actually out here already we got 10 weight rod pretty long one super long one actually we got pink flies i'm gonna go catch a giant king um what has been your favorite fishing so far sir chum fishing chum fishing yeah i just really like the fight you know work out my biceps big fish big fish big fish big biceps big biceps big yeah big boys big <laughs> And the big boys. I like the big boys. Gage likes big boys. Alright. That's All right. not weird. This, this is you took it weird when Yeah. Maybe I, I took it weird. Yeah, weirdest. Alright. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Where are we at? What are we doing? Guys, we are standing in a river in the middle of Alaska. I don't know if we're in the middle of Alaska. We're on the edge of Alaska for sure. I've got a 10 weight fly rod in my hand and we are casting for king salmon today. Here's my whole thing is, so when I booked this trip, I talked to a few people that had been here and they'd built this place up. What I kept getting out of everyone, everyone I talked to about this place was it's special. It's a life experience. You will be changed because of it. And so in my head, I'm like, I'm not gonna try to build this up to be anything more than what it is going to be. I was stoked, but I didn't want to like overhype it. And since we've been here now, it is everything I expected and a little more. The fishing is absolutely phenomenal. The guides are phenomenal all that but it's just a beautiful place this river is so special because it holds all five species of pacific salmon it holds or uh, grayling it holds giant rainbow trout and it holds dolly vardens so every day you choose your experience you choose what you want to go do you choose if you want to go salmon fishing if you want to go chase some big rainbows with a mouse pattern if you want to go do the dolly thing like every day you can change it up today we're going to do some salmon fishing probably go and try to find a giant rainbow as well what just happened we, uh, I was searching for what I thought would be some rainbows and sending a Dalai Lama through some great looking water and out comes a sockeye and eats it. On a six way. On a six way rod. Uh, and we've got a little bit of a wrestling match going on here now. Ooh, ooh. Dude. Don't feel like I'm the one in control here. There's at least 30 feet of backing on that reel. You'll be good. <laughs> Holy just giving Lane a hard time because we were looking for my other rod and we were floating down. I'm like, did I leave my rod up there? Get down to this hole and Lane's just fishing it. <laughs> <laughs> what are friends for? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm clear on the game plan. The execution is going to be, uh, <laughs> yeah, the strategy to have good with, the tactical execution. He ate a Dolly Lama. When he swam by me, I could. Oh! Thanks, Gager. <laughs> there was no horse in a fish that, that no, big with a rod. No. Like Maybe we should grab the eight weights for this. Oh, look at that big rainbow right there. Ooh, what's the chance? You got just that, just Gage? Dip it, dip it, dip it right yep. Boom! Oh! 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 What a loser! <laughs> that was a big fish. Got him! Yeah. That's a good bow! Oh, buddy! Well, you totally well, redeemed yourself! Alright, now we've totally redeemed ourselves. Hey, we're just uh, bowing with our buddies. Bows with our bros? Bows with our bros. Bows with our bros. Great, good job, Laner. Don't. Oh, dang, dude! Toad. He is, too. That's finally walking eat. Twice. Twice. Hold that bad boy up. The holy llama. Got that? Bam! Good times. Back it up. Casey oh, hooked up. Boat. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, Adolf. Move your line. That's a good bow, dude. That's not a bow. That's, not a bow. That's a great bow. <laughs> He's really bending that it's a rod. Real good grayling. I'm not set up to land this fish, but we're gonna try her. Perfect. If I can get a hold of the leader, you want me to? Broke that thing. Oh, he took your lava! Let's do it again. What are we doing, Log? Got a big chum on. We're just having shore lunch here. Parked our boats on this bar, and there's this deep drop off for like 30 yards out in the main river. Salmon, trout, caught like four different species. Sitting on this beautiful king's chair, I call it. I just hooked into a chum. Is that your eight weight rod? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, look at 
that fish. Look at that guy. They have a lot of fight in them, don't they? Oh yeah. Look at that big old tail. That's why I love these fish. You can hold on to their tail so good. Chum salmon. See you, buddy. Later. Oh, hey there. I found this land, it's not landlocked, it goes right to the river, but it's this little cove and I saw a bunch of fish jumping over here, so I came to check it out. I think it's a bunch of sockeye in here. But they weren't, they chased my fly a few times and then I cast it out there and it started making them mad and they were like dashing at it. This guy went to hit it and I hit him. Oh my goodness. This is a 10 weight rod, look at that thing flex. Oh, well, you go in there and get him. I think I might just pass the rod over to him. I'm tired. He's good, dude. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. He's a good one. Look at that fish. Big old sock yeah. guy. Okay, let this Nailed it. What's up? Last day. We are uh, we're dedicated to trout today. Gonna see what we can do on mouse, dolly llamas, cheeto flies. Yes, sir. We'll we'll explain that later. But uh, regardless, it's gonna be a good day. I'm having a good old time. Gage has been catching some pretty good fish. I've been catching some good fish. Lane's been catching great fish. Logan's about the only one that hasn't caught a fish today. <laughs> so we're trying to get him on some. You know, we gave him the training wheels and we'll see how he does. Fishing, quit catching them. Yeah, stop catching them. <laughs> oh! Keep. Oh! Yes! Holy oh, Is that four? It was four. I'm getting so. really good zoom footage of your knot fest. So this is Lane. This is Lane. He owns a Lane. fishing boat company. This, this is going to be your only cameo in the video. This Lane. is still Lane. <laughs> Does that thing like have a really long tail? Oh no. There I, I he is. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is still, still lane. Still lane. Still lane. <laughs> That's number five. Yes, sir. Doubled up. Hey, we call Alaska catching, not fishing. Yeah, it's, it's more just catching. Yeah, def definitely the game here. We're going to make these fish kiss, and they're going to like it. Best guide dog in Alaska right here. Yes, sir. 20. Good girl. Give him a kiss. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we'll let that one go. <laughs> yes, Double sir. Down. Good work, boys. Making me look good. And, um, yeah. Let it show. Let it show. That's a two out. Yeah, that's a good one. His whole life. Probably the world's greatest streamer action up here. Look at that guy. Woo-wee! 
Yes. Thumbs up. Shot. Nailed it. Nice. Nailed it. Good job. <laughs> nice, Gator. Nice, Dolly. Performing. Nice, double. double. That's a good grailing, buddy. Nice. Cheesy. Good work, guys. Like this way. There you go, standing up. Then the color, there. the color shows a little better. Less okay, clear on the fish. Quite cool, dude. Since getting into fly fishing, this is a trip I've only dreamed about. Alaska is kind of like the pinnacle of all fishing, and this year I got the opportunity to go. If there's anything you've ever wanted to do, like a trip or a place you've always wanted to go, start working towards that today. Don't wait until you're retired or think you have enough money saved. Work towards that goal and don't put it on the back burner. Figure out a way to make that goal happen and then go on to the next thing. That's what life's all about. Checking those boxes, man. Doing those things you've always wanted to do.